for fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, U4GM Coins. Use code VENOM at checkout for 5% off your order. Yo, what's good guys, Venom Fire here back in the video and today we bring you guys another pass defense. This one is one of my personal favorites. I've been running this one for a couple of years now. It's going to come to us out of the nickel normal formation. The player running is going to be corner blitz three. Now this play looks a little bit weird. Corner blitzes have never really been good in Madden, but we're going to do a couple of adjustments to kind of flip the script on the play. So nickel normal. We all know how good of a defense it is just because of how sound it is against the run and the pass. So this isn't a terrible run defense as well. Just coming out stock, you will be able to stop the run pretty decently. Um, obviously, nickel normal, you want some safeties at linebacker. I've already gone ahead and subbed them in right there just to get you more speed. Uh, they, you really won't be manning those players up in this video. But again, more speed, better zone coverage, things like that. Uh, and yeah, corner blitz three, we're going to come out in it with the corner blitz on the left. I actually have a way I can get him on the right, um, but make sure you just come out with your slot corner on that wide side of the field. And on offense, I'm just going to come out in this random bunch play. That's pretty good. Um, but yeah, so you see the corner blitz is on the left side. We want it on the side with the slot cornerback though. So all you do is just flip the play. And then you're going to repress. Now you notice we got that slot corner blitzing from the wide side of the field. So again, all I did was flip the play and then I pressed and there we go. So uh, usually what I like to do is just also pinch my entire defense, which will be RB or R1 and down on the left stick. Uh, I mean, you already pressed your corner. So um, really what that does is just pinches your D-line and pinches your linebackers. Again, not necessary, but it's something I like to do. It makes the defense look a little bit more clean. Uh, moving on, we got two basic adjustments, and again, um, I will have a ton of different setups for this play, but just starting out for the first one, what you're going to do is man both of those cornerbacks up on the right side. So this is particularly good against bunch, but it can also work against uh, like a trip set or a spread set, but what you're going to do, just man up B on B and man up L1 on R1 right there. Uh, so you notice we have both the receivers manned up. There's not really going to be a threat of a deep pass on the right side. So what we can do is throw A in a curl flat zone. So we're going to throw A in a curl flat. And yeah, it's pretty much it for the first setup. Obviously, you can do a little bit more. We'll talk about that later. But just for the base setup, we got two purples. We got two deep zones on the left. And then we got our user. Um, again, the tight end. Really what you're watching for here is maybe a tight end route over the middle of the field. You're also watching Evans on that side. Um, but yeah, pretty good base setup. Usually what I would do is just shade over the top again so we get that seam, seam flat to turn into a cloud or a curl flat. Um, but yeah, for the base play, we will just go ahead and snap the ball right there. Sort of work around here. User defending everything. You see pretty good coverage down the field. So again, really the weakness would be that deep side on the right. But since you're manning people up, it's not as much of a weakness anymore. Um, moving on, I'll just show that setup again here. What you're going to do, just flip the play, then you will press, and then you can just pinch your defense. If you want to, you don't have to press separately, but sometimes I've noticed that that corner will actually travel to the other side of the field. So again, be a little bit careful about that. Um, moving on, you're just going to man up those two players on the furthest wideouts. Again, it's from the slot. It's going to be difficult for that, like a, someone, even Chris Godwin, it would be difficult for him to get open on a inside third right here, especially if this player has like good speed or, what, or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, so really the only threat, or Gronkowski's not a threat that deep or that outside receiver on the right is the biggest threat. So again, uh, what you're going to do is put A here in a curl flat, double tap Y, press A and push that left stick to the right side, puts them in a curl flat. And yeah, it's the base setup. I know it's a little bit complicated. This video will be a little bit more advanced, I will say. Uh, but to play zone coverage this year, you got to get a little bit more advanced, I will say. Stock cover three uh, is obviously not as good as it was in years past. Um, but you see, the reason that nickel normal is very good is because of the block sheds. So we're getting very quick block sheds, and you see, able to defend the middle of the field pretty dang good. Uh, we'll move on to a, just another base setup here. In this one, you're actually not going to flip your defense. You're going to leave your slot corner rat, or the blitzing corner on that uh, one cornerback side, not the one with two. Uh, so you see here, we got two corners. We want this for this setup, you're going to have this, the blitzing corner on just by himself. Uh, so again, 
basically I would press. I've already clicked onto those cornerbacks just to show you so they actually won't press, but I would just pinch my defense. And then what I would do is simply uh, either man up X if I wanted to, or what I like to do, put him in a cloud flat. Now, really if I was going with the man up setup, I would have to make an extra adjustment and I would probably have to double flat. Uh, so what I would do is I would put Davis in the hard flat and Y in the curl flat, something like this. Um, but we don't have to do that. So um, what you're going to do simply is just going to be put X in a cloud flat. Now we got pretty much the double flat. And if even if I wanted to, I could still use your Davis over here. Um, I'm also going to shade over the top. And then over on this right side, I could run a sock cover three. Or what I like to do is put B in a hard flat, double flat on the right. And then we're going to use our Davis. We got the three receiver hook. We still have three people blitzing. Uh, and we have really good help over the top. Everything defended really well. If you're going to go with this double flat setup a lot, I would recommend setting your curl flats to a deep zone drop setting, probably around 20 to 25 yards. Um, but yeah, this is the setup. I'll talk about it a lot more again. And in this case, I would also set flats to a low number as well. But uh, we'll snap the ball. Pretty much just user things over the middle of the field. And you see the coverage pretty well or pretty good again. Now, I didn't set my zone drop, so that's why you see the corner out was wide open there. Uh, I didn't set my zone drop, so that's the reason that things will probably be open deeper down the field like corner routes or even post routes. Um, but again, that setup was just simply to pinch your defense, and then we're going to put X in a cloud flat, and we're going to put this B defensive lineman in a hard flat, just shade over the top as well. And again, it doesn't matter if, doesn't matter if that hard flat is in a cloud flat, simply because um, he is going to be still playing the five yard assignment, cloud flats and Hard flats play the same when you adjust the zone drops. Uh, now, if I wanted to just completely double flat on both sides, I would obviously be using danger field. Um, but I actually like to use this player right here. Chances are I would be using a crosser coming from right to left anyways. Um, and really, we have our cloud flat playing five yards. So wheel routes or drag routes, I'm not going to have to use her. Um, so I personally like to use that player, especially um, on that non-bunch side because, again, there's not really a lot of crosser plays this year out of bunch that are too effective. There's that double post play uh, where that post goes over the middle, but again, it's not coming completely from right to left. Uh, so there's not really as much of a threat, specifically out of bunch. Some other sets, there might be a little bit more of a threat. But again, one last time, that setup was just simply to pinch your whole defense. Again, we're not flipping for this one. We're going to put X in a cloud flat. We're going to put this BD lineman in a hard flat, and then we're just going to shade over the top. Again, I like to use the curl flat over here. Personal preference, you can do really whatever you want. And look at the coverage, really good, really good down the field. You see nothing really opened. And obviously, if we were to set our zone drops, the corner out, the flats on the right would be completely um, covered. So again, that was that setup. Moving on, we will go with another flip setup. We're going to, again, flip your defense. And then you can go ahead and pinch your whole defense as well so I just flipped I pinched my defense this guy will uh, usually come in sometimes you have to manually move him in um, but again with this setup what I like to do is just shit over the top man up B on B and in this case what I'm gonna do is put B in a hard flat this D lineman so again pretty much it's pretty similar to the other setup we had um, but again it's a little bit different we got some more man up protection over there uh, again Really what your responsibility is, is going to be defending drags on this left side of the field. If I want to eliminate that, I can throw this linebacker in a hard flat and then just use her anything deep coming from right to left. And I don't have to worry about B because he's manned up. I really have to worry about just the slot cornerback, maybe the tight end. Uh, and I'm watching curl routes, certain things like that. But again, you see, look at X. He's The outside third does a really good job of following those routes which is why I like to leave it on that left side. You notice, especially pressed, he's defending that post route very well. Uh, again, that setup was to flip your defense, then you pinch. And then what we're doing is just manning up that blitzing cornerback on the outside wide receiver. And then we are putting that, again, the D lineman in a hard flat. If you don't know how to do that, you just double tap D pad to the left, press that B button and push the left stick to the left side. That gets him the hard flat. Again, you can share over the top, get rid of those seam flats. Um, and there you are, good to go. The only other adjustment I would do is probably throw Davis here in a hard flat. I could also use her Davis as well. 
if I wanted to and I would just manually defend the drag. He's actually manned up. We don't have to worry about him. Then I can go back up the field. And yeah, it's again one of my favorite setups. Show it one more time. Just give you guys three complete setups. Talk about them a lot. And really, this is definitely my favorite way to run the play. Uh, I might throw in a little bonus setup at the end. I'm not sure. But again, you're going to flip. You're going to press. You're going to pinch your defense. And then what you do, man up B on B. Put that D lineman in a hard flat. And I know this is a lot of adjustments. So even if you get quick snapped, like right here, uh, you would be able to shave the top. And you would be able to manually use the flats over there. The th again, the three receiver hook. I love the zone. You're going to see him lurk on that angle route, lurk down, lurk the post route. It's almost like another user on the field. So uh, I'll just throw in this bonus setup real quick. And again, it's going to be another one where you don't have to flip the defense. So I'm giving you two of each style. Uh, I would just pinch my defense. And then for this one, I would actually just man up X on X. Uh, and then basically you can just user Fitzpatrick right here. Um, again, really, you have to pay attention if B is on a deep route because you can get beat down the field if this happens. Also, if I wanted to, I could also double flat on that right side, play a defense like this. Again, I love the three receiver hook zone. It's very effective. Um, but yeah, you're just turning that blitzing cornerback into a man up assignment. And then you are, it's a very relatively simple setup. Um, but again, you see pretty much everything is defended nothing open. I'll show that one more time. Just press. You're going to actually just pinch your defense, man up X on X, and then you're just going to put B in hard flat and shade over the top. Uh, if you want a little bit of a quicker setup, a little bit more of a beginner style of setup, that is what I would recommend. You see where they throw it and we don't get the pick, but really good coverage on the field. I know I am only just running it out of one play, but again, you see a lot of great routes. We've got a couple, a ton of man beating routes. we got this post route, corner route, angle route, drag route, and even the swing. So Really good play on offense. We locked it up completely with four different styles of setups. If you want more videos like this one, let me know in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 12,000 subscribers. And peace. I'm out of here.